to Carolina where the honeysuckle smells so sweet. Going back, back to Carolina, Carolina is calling me. Welcome. We're here on location in Matthews, North Carolina for Matthews Alive. Mayor, you have to be excited. I'm extremely excited about the event. Uh, we have a t the 20th anniversary of Matthews Alive. It started out Friday night at 6 o'clock. Tons and tons of stuff to do here. Jim, tell me about the carnival rides and the kids. Well, this festival is all about families and kids. I mean, we cater to them. We have carnival rides here, uh, uh, Ferris wheels, kitty rides, etc. And the kids are wonderful. I mean, on Friday night, it was terrific. Got kids lined up, you know, 10, 20 deep to get on these rides. It's a wonderful tradition. Uh, people bring their families back year in and year out. And it's wonderful to see the look on the kids' faces when they get on those rides for the first or second time. It is just, it, it brings a smile to my face every time I see it. And we value and judge the success of this festival by how many strollers and how many smiles we see on everybody that, that comes to our wonderful city. I love coming to Matthews Alive because we get to see a lot of friends that we don't see during the weeks and we just come to have fun and be a family and watch the parade and have a good time. Um, I love just being um, hanging out at Matthews Alive Festival. It's really a lot of fun for the family and everyone has something they can do here. All great events require great visionaries, and we're here with one now, Lee Myers. 18 years you served as Mayor of Matthews. Mayor, tell us about what's involved in bringing this thing about. In Matthews, what we did when we started the festival is we needed to have volunteers. And so we went to the nonprofit organizations in and around Matthews, and we said, look, we're going to put together a festival. And what we want to do is we want each of your nonprofit organizations to benefit financially from this festival. To do that, we need you to help us volunteer. And you know that every nonprofit group over the years has stepped up in Matthews, has donated their time and their talent to the festival. Today, in 2012, we will have over 2,200 volunteers come through Matthews Alive. These dedicated individuals give back to their community. And this year, we will eclipse one million dollars in gifts going back to these nonprofits. What I love about Matthews Alive is that it's a, it's a family festival that everyone loves. And there's music, rides, the kids went out and rode all the rides last night for two hours. And today we're enjoying the parade. Can't ask for anything better. The thing that I like about Matthews Live is that um, I see all my friends and that it's just really fun. Matthews Live is really fun for my family. Um, we love coming to the parade and seeing all the bands and clowns and the candy and all the fun stuff. And um, it's just a really neat um, old fashioned parade and festival. So we just love coming every year. sponsored by the town of Matthews. Well, the parade is on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. We have over 100 entrants. We have local area marching bands. We have beauty queens. We have uh, Floats Galore, our main sponsor for the parade and for the whole festival. Presbyterian Hospital Matthews has had a wonderful float there. Uh, it's just tremendous. Tons and tons of activity in the parade in the morning. The Presbyterian Hemby's Children Hospital vehicle. Glad to have you out. This place awards the proud Spartan Sound. Matthews Alive is a great, great parade. It's fun. It doesn't cost anything to be here. And it's great for the kids, the middle group, and guys like me, the older crowd. It is just terrific. I reckon I love the best, the, the parades, the bands. Um, our kids were participating in the early 90s, and it's been great coming and seeing the bands playing this year. I like that you also get to come spend time with the people you like and just watch a parade. 
Mayor, I understand there's a great art exhibit here as well. Tell us about that. We have a tremendous art exhibit in our Matthews Community Center. We have the Matthews Artist Guild, which has a show every year during Matthews Alive. They display all their artwork and they actually have an exhibition. We also have the annual quilt show there. We have hundreds of handmade quilts that are just phenomenal. You would not believe how in the detail that's involved in these things, it's just wonderful. You've got to see it. Not to mention it's in the air conditioning, so you get out of the hot sun every once in a while. We have hundreds of arts and crafts vendors here. We have uh, pottery, we have people that make items out of wood. All these things are handmade. None of this stuff is mass produced. Uh, artists come from hundreds of miles away to share their talent with the community and an opportunity for them to offer their wares. And you could spend hours walking around in the arts and crafts area and find something you'd love to bring home. Jim, tell us about the entertainment. We have constant non-stop entertainment starting at uh, Friday at 6 o'clock and it all builds up every, day, every hour by the hour to uh, Sunday night where we have Shenandoah coming here. A Grammy Award winning band coming to Matthews, North Carolina. Shenandoah is going to put on a terrific show live in the Texas Roadhouse main stage in Stumptown Park. This is the Matthews Chamber of Commerce sponsored auto reunion and motorcycle show. We've been doing this for 22 years in downtown historic Matthews and we have probably close to 100 cars out here. All makes and models, all years, back going back into the 1920s and on up. Um, come out, enjoy the show. We have it every year on Labor Day Monday and we're very proud to host this event. We have ice cream, we have water, sodas, come out and meet the vendors, talk to the car owners and just have a really good time. Jim, tell us what this event means to you on a personal level. Well, it, it really its a sense of pride. I mean, we, there's so much time and energy that goes into this festival from, from the day it ended last year to the, uh, the day it started on Friday evening. I just can't, can't express how proud it makes me as not only the mayor of what I think is the best city in all of North Carolina, but as a citizen of this community. Folks, don't leave your seats. When we come back, we're going to visit 100-year-old Dr. William Perry in Chesterfield, South Carolina, and then a visit to Tony's Ice Cream in Gastonia, a summer treat, heck, a year-round treat for everyone.